Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Yusahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to create a controller for our text field and we are going to handling our data. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and for right now, let's open category screen and we go to our text field and inside this we have two text field the first one is category and the second one is description when we press control plus space we can see many properties so in this section we are going to focus on controller and to make a controller we need to go to top and right here we need to create a new variable and we name it as category name controller and we assign to text editing controller semicolon right here and one more for our description we name it as category description controller and we assign to text editing controller and close with semicolon and now we have to controller and we can assign to our text field and the first one is we need to call our category name controller and the second one is here and to check our controller we need to go to our flat button and when we press our save button we need to say print and we say category and we use dollar sign and we call category name controller and and let's say description and let's run our app and let's try to go to our category screen press this flat button and let's fill our categories form and let's press this save button we don't see anything so let's try this so i think and let's restart and go to our category screen again press floating action button fill our categories form and let's click save and we see personal and list of personal to do's which is this kind of like our fill so the next step is we need to create a new package inside our lib directories right click on there new package and we name it as service and inside our service directories we need to create a new dart file and we name it as category service and we create a new class and we call it as category service and we create a new method inside that and we name it as save category look like this and we want to give parameter inside our save category method which is we want to give parameter using object so the next step is we need to create a new package again and we name it as models and inside models directory we need to create a new that file and we name it as category and we create a new class and we name it as category and inside that we need to create two variables the first one is name the second one is description and the next step is we need to go to our category service and inside our save category we call our category object and name it as category and inside our save category we say print category dot name and print category dot description and let's check in category screen and we need to create instance of our category we name it as category and we call our category and again 
category screen, category service I mean, and we call it category screen, and go to our save button, and we need to call right here, and we assign our controller category dot name equal to category name controller dot text, which means we parse our controller to be text and again category the description we assign with category description the text after that we call our category service and we call our method save category and we call category This is category service. Not category screen. And let's restart our app. Go to our category screen. Let's see on our run and let's fill our categories form like the before press save button and we can see personal and list of personal studios it means that it's print of our category screen which is save category method which means we call print and we want to print name category and description of category so i think that's enough our video today see you on the next video